Logoland. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Logoland. Today, we're going to take a look at Alien Host by Thunder Toys. Let's take a look. So right off the bat, the presentation is interesting because it comes with a shipper and the shipper has some print on it, it says Alien Host. And then inside that shipper, you get the box with the Venom logo with this painted look to it. Uh, a lot of white, very little black, but it does have a kind of almost like a charcoal vibe. And here it is. Here's the figure. You can see um, it comes with the Topher Grace head sculpt on it and the Venom head on the side. And we're going to look at it into more detail. Let's see what's under, under here. Here we have a little basic base, uh, symbiote, and uh, that's it. And this is everything outside the box. So you can see everything nice and clean. Head sculpt, two pairs of hands, little symbiote effect, and a base. Let's take a look at the head sculpts close up. Here we have the Venom head. It has a peg at the bottom attached to the head sculpt. And then we have the saliva or slime or whatnot. Um, it's harder plastic than I thought, so you got to be careful with that. Uh, great texture on the on the mask or on the symbiote in this case um you have all the little web lines the teeth look really good have a little yellowish look to it and uh here we could look at inside of the mouth you can see it's all painted and yeah like i said that uh that's saliva stuff is, is not the, the softest plastic so you just got to be careful with that um the eyes look nice it's kind of like a grayish color there's no like detail to that but it, it does look good here we have the Topher Grace head sculpt and it's based off that scene where he he reveals himself and uh, to be honest I'm most likely not going to use this um, but it's, it's a nice addition um, it is kind of creepy though and here we have the open hands it's the only pair of hands other than the one that it comes with that are extra um, and they're good they're kind of like a softer plastic they have nice texture on them as well i was i was surprised they had nails i forgot that they had nails and here's a nice little symbiote piece again it is flexible um i'm not too sure what to put this on maybe on spider-man or whoever fight when you're fighting or playing with them and here we have the base um typical but what's cool about this one it is it does have storage which is which is where the hands were in the package so the extra hands when you get this will be inside of the base so if you're looking for them they're inside the base um i like this i like that you can have a little storage there in the base it is a very basic base though it's just black it has no name no nothing so here we're going to take a look at the figure outside of the box look at the details and textures um this suit feels a lot like the black symbiote suit from Hot Toys, the original. Uh, so that's kind of like the texture you're going to get here. Uh, a little rubbery, uh, thin, but flexible at the same time. And yeah, just looking at the, the head sculpt here, um, the Venom symbol is kind of like this silverish, dark silverish look. We have the web lines everywhere. It looks a lot like uh, what it looked like in the, in the movie. From what i can remember um the body is definitely a thicker body uh compared to like a regular suit or a regular body thicker thighs thicker upper chest um i wish it was a little bit thicker on the shoulders but i think for the spider-man 3 venom this does look look pretty on model um and the boots yeah it has the boots mine off the box came with the boots kind of like unstuck and uh, feet off, which is weird. And here is the Venom head sculpt. And let's take a look at articulation. It moves up and down like this. It is a pretty flexible head sculpt. Um, the neck doesn't move too much, but uh, the head does go up and down. There's a lot of coverage you can get. Arms go out to the side like that double jointed elbows the joints do feel super smooth double jointed elbows again and they do feel sturdy it doesn't feel loose or anything like that still side to side with the tilt and here it has some padding for that thickness the chest has the padding and let's take a look at those wrists 
They, they move around. The wrist pegs are very small though, so when you're switching out the hands, they're kind of a pain in the butt. The ab crunch there goes about that much, goes back about that much, so you're getting a lot of flexibility here. And then we have the waist. Let's take a look at the waist, side to side. A good amount of range here. So yeah, this suit is flexible. Legs go out just to about there. They didn't move up too much. I didn't want to push it too much either. I didn't want to rip it or anything. And it could go up that much. Forward and back, not too much. We got a little blockage there. And we got the double jointed knees. And they, they go up about to the thigh. And the ankles, not much movement in the ankles, but something going on there. And that's about it for articulation. Now let's take a look at some size comparisons. We have Venom with this Hot Toys black symbiote suit. Venom stands a bit taller and a bit wider. Then we have him with the Hot Toys Tobey Maguire classic suit. Can't wait for the new one and there you go. And honestly, I didn't want to take my Venom and Carnage out of the display case. I like the pose I had. So I just placed the Venom uh, right there in the middle. They're way bigger than him, so, you know, they don't scale too good, but there it is. So here we have um, the alien host in a nice little pose. Uh, you can see all the details in the suit. And um, here we have a little bit more of a more dynamic pose. And you can see much more closer up on the details of the face. And I just wanted to showcase what it looks like with some different lights and poses. And here we have him battling it out with Spider-Man. So I hope you guys enjoyed that review, Alien Host by Thunder Toys. Definitely interesting figure. Um, you know, the it's, it's interesting that third party is doing Spider-Man 3 things. And uh, I'm really, I was really excited to get this and I'm still happy with it. I'm glad the way it came out. I'm definitely not gonna be using that, um, that unmasked head, but I can def I'm definitely gonna be putting this on my display. So hope you guys liked it. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you sometime in Lagoland. Yeah.